guys welcome back to my channel the phenomenal peeps on for, on this video i'm going to talk to teach all the beginners so the people that just uh, want to join the binary.com so how to use all the functioning uh indicator how to use them so and how to add some peers to their chat so that's what i'm going to talk about on this video so like i said this video is for the beginner Please, if you are new on this channel, please kindly click on subscription buttons. So, click the bell so that the time I upload the new video, you'll be able to see them. So, uh, first of all, if you want to, maybe you want to draw or something like that, click here. So, you will double click on your chart. When you double click on your chart, so this right circle we 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 open like this. So, this M1 is for one minute m5 is for five minutes m15 is for 15 minutes y m30 is for 30 minutes h1 is one hour h4 is h4 is one hour h4 is four hours d1 is daily time frame so i'm talking about time frame so m1 is one minute one minute time frame m5 is five minute time frame m15 is five minute time frame m30 is 30 minute time frame why h1 is h hour one hour time frame h4 is four hours time frame why d1 is daily time frame so w1 is weekly time frame why mn is monthly time frame so we do we use for currency or something like that we used to use h1 mostly but if you want to do your analysis you will do your analysis on daily time frame daily time frame which is d1 and h4 then you will enter your trade from h1 so that is all about this uh, this uh, time frame then how to draw so did you see what what is beside um, behind the m1 here so this thing that is behind the m1 that is what we you will click so you will click on it to add your this thing so if you want to draw your trend line did you see this is the trend and trend line so this is what the right trend line so you will you click on it when you click on it you will see this is it so that is our trend line you will, you will use it to draw your anything that you want to draw so if you want to shift it you will click on the middle you know it, it have three dots so you will click on the middle dot to to move it to click to, to to move it to where you want to put it and if you want to delete it you will click on it when you press long press on it then you click on ba this basket it will delete so that is about that then if you want to use any maybe you want to draw support and resistance you want to draw your horizontal line you you already did you see it did you see the horizontal and vertical line so this is horizontal and this is vertical you click on any one that you want to use let me click on this so did you, did you see it this is the horizontal line so then if you want to use your uh, the second line then you will click on it so that is how we use our horizontal and vertical line so this is it you will put it to where you want to put it then if you want to delete it click long press on it and delete long press on it and delete so so again if you want to see all this circle click on long press on this when uh, when you double click on your chart it will open then did you see this uh, the symbol behind this m1 that is what i'm clicking i'm not click on these settings i'm clicking on uh this uh, symbol behind the m1 so that's what i'm clicking so and if you want to draw a uh, triangle sorry if you want to draw a rectangle this is rectangle you have, you, you, you have already seen it so click on it then if you want to click arrow click on arrow did you see the arrow here yeah. so then if you want to see all of them click on this plus sign it will show you the name click on plus sign beside the basket so you will see all their name did you see the vertical line you see the horizontal line you see the trend line so you see the arrow so that is it so did you see the rectangle triangle and ellipse so you will just click on them to draw your rectangle so that is how we do it and if you want to paint your rectangle this is i paint this one i paint it purple and if you want to change the color you just long press on it when you long press on it you see a basket will open and this pencil just click on the pencil then did you see the field so that means you, you i fill it with color then you come here this one pixel change the color to any color that you like so 
this one pixel it will light and if you want it to dip you will click on four pixel so done do you see it that is how we do it and if you want to delete it just click long press on it and delete it so that is it all about that so what next and if you don't want to long press on it on this check your chat you will see the plus sign the plus sign is for this course so if you want this course so if you want to use this one so that is this uh, plus sign the, the f is for indicator if you want to use in the when we talk about custom indicator all the indicator that i use on my chart right now which is bolivia band and the macd yeah i i use them through the this f click on this f so when i click on this f this is what i see so yeah all these things show so i don't need them again let me so if you don't need them you just click on this uh, basket then you will delete them so that is it and if you want to add anything just press click on this f when you click on the f all these things will show then you will click on main this is the main chart see the in front the right f plus click on the f plus to add your anything that you want to add anything any indicator that the same you add just click on the f when you click on the f then you will see the main chart click on the main uh, the main chart do click on the main chart come come and uh, click on f plus when you click on f plus you will see all these things just add anything that you want to add so that is it so i think i'm done with that also so and if you want to place your if you want to open trade what you will do is you will click on this scene did you see what the, the right the this thing that be like scene uh for, yeah let me show you I'm talking about this that is a, a left side left side at the top so you will click on this F plus F uh, F plus sign to 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 do anything in this if you want to buy you will click on buy and if you want to sell you will click on sell so that is how we do it and if you want to add your TP and you want to set your stop loss so let me show you that what we mean by TP is that you know this is where the market is right now if you want to buy maybe you are hoping that the market will go up that is for buy and if you want to sell that means you are hoping that the market will come down so if you want the market to come down then you will set your tp here then if you hope that the market is coming is going up you will put your tp here then you put your stop loss here stop loss means maybe you are you target that the market will go up here then the market didn't go up the market suddenly come down so when the sudden market started coming down your your money your equity the money that you used to deposit in your account is is re, is the dust small small but that your stop loss when the market touch the stop loss it will not eat your money again so the market will stop so that mean that is the meaning of stop loss then take profit means maybe you are you're taking that the market is coming here you just so you are targeting that when the market touch here then the market uh, your it will close your profit for you take profit is, the, is that is the meaning of take profit that maybe you op, you are hoping that the market will go up then you you, you are talking that i want to see ten dollar from it then you will put your tp here that when the market touch here make and uh, make the my money stop into my account so that the, your your profit we added to your money you have in your account so that is that but if you want to open trade click on this uh, same same symbol then this is loss size if you want to add your loss size you will click on this plus plus 0 0.01 that is how you will add to your loss size and if you want to reduce your loss size you will click on minus 0 0.1 so you, you do see what's happening the market is, is reducing so it's reducing so that is it that is how you add and that is how you will minus you will put your tp here you will put your stop loss here then if you want to buy you will buy here if you want to sell you can you will sell here and you don't want to put your stop loss and you want to put your stop and uh, stop loss uh, you don't want to put your sa you don't want to put your tp you can buy and you can sell but you must watch your trade in case if you did not watch your market if the market go against you it will eat all your money so that is it so that is it about uh, how to use the this thing but if you want to add if you want to add to your currency you know this is crash and boom maybe i don't have all this pair on my on my chart and the pair that you don't have you don't you want to add it to your to this thing 
what you will do is that you will click on this plus sign here when you click on this plus sign did you see it all the broker that are there all the in the MPS that I don't have there it is here well just click on them when you click on them it will add it to your this thing so I have already added a uh, step index let's go, go and check it now whether it's here did you see did it, this, this is it the step index. It's, not, it's not on my chart before but it's here now step index did you see so that is it so how to use this and uh, the, the symbol at the down the symbol at the down the first one that show the arrow so this one is for it, it will show you all the ps that you have so you just need to click on the ps that you want to trade maybe they give you signal that you should buy crash 500 where is crash 500 you will look you will find it this is crash 500 here then you will click on it just click on it so click on the chart <laughs> So the class, this is class 500. It will open like this. So that is how we use it. So the second one is for uh, chart. So when you open the chart, uh, what we call chart is where you do your analysis. This is the chart. This is what we call chart. So you will see the markets. That is where you will see the movement of the market. Then the third one is for uh, you will see your learning trade you will see your money trade on the uh on the third one you will see the running trade so all the one that is in profit you will see them so the profit you will show at the up so that is how we use it and the third one is the profit that you make in a day so this one will show you the profit you make in days uh one week two months so all this one will show you the that so that's what you need to know about this um this thing just play with it so when you play with it you will know more about it so thank you very much if you if you still have any question concerning this feel free to message me thank you very much